Yeah, my name is Ulf Jekyll. I'm heading a division in the Federal Ministry for the Environment here in, uh, in Germany, in, in Berlin, and this division is called Product Related Environmental Protection and Resource Efficiency. Why did you come to this summit? Um, uh, we are taking care of environmental labeling as well as life cycle analysis uh, and carbon footprint in our division. And uh, we are in the process of developing a methodology as a convention in Germany on the national level, but to be to give input into the international discussion. And also we are in the process of developing, establishing and climate change label for products. What do you expect from this summit? Um, I think the summit is a, is a very good occasion for uh, people from all over the world to share, to exchange their views. Um, there are so many different activities around product carbon footprint going on in the world globally, from Japan to, uh, to Europe, United States, UK, everywhere. Uh, people are talking about carbon footprint, companies are um, in the process of developing maybe their own approach to carbon footprint and so on. And so it's, it's good to exchange views and maybe get a common understanding of what carbon footprint could be and what it can't be. Could you give, me, give us some insight into exactly this question? What do you think will be the contribution of uh, product carbon footprint to uh, reducing climate change, for example? Um, there is a growing uh, consumer awareness of climate change things and one could address these awareness by uh, product carbon footprint and climate change label but this has to be valid this has to be um, um, very uh, ambitious and uh, uh, doesn't or shouldn't end up with a single criteria labeling which uh, is, uh, has a lot of danger to confuse the consumer more than in, to inform the consumer. Um, how do you think will the carbon footprint develop in the next years? I think the carbon footprint will develop in a way that companies look at their, uh, their life cycle of the products and uh, try to improve the products by using the, the carbon footprint, which is very good for an environmental ministry. This is the, this is the aim. And uh, also the consumer awareness is, is an aim as, as such. So uh, we have to treat it very carefully, which signals we give to the consumer, that we don't confuse the consumer. So uh, the development of one methodology, for example, would be a very well, it's a step into that direction and uh, I hope that the ISO process is um, bringing us further on that road. Okay, well I hope so too and I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.